what's going on YouTube. I'm going to show you a few basic things here. Um, mainly, if you want to code in TypeScript for 5M. 5M, obviously you can code in TypeScript. It takes a little extra work, but I made it really simple for everyone. So if you just go over to GitHub, which the link will be in the description, and you will see this 5M TypeScript right here. And all you have to do is download it and do the npm i, which will install everything because everything is loaded into the package of what you need. You got the client, you got the server, node, ES build, and then TypeScript. And we make it really easy for you. So I'll just demonstrate. I've already have it downloaded right here. So I'm gonna delete build. And this is how the file just basically comes just like this. So I'm gonna open with code here. When you open with code, shouldn't have any of this open. So we'll just run you through some things. So our client scripts and server scripts are going through build server and server JS, um, which you don't see in here because it is not built, right? So we're gonna open a new terminal and you're gonna see that we are in the right folder here. And we're gonna just gonna do npm space i. Once you do that though, it will download everything you need and everything is in here for you to run some basic things. So I'm gonna run you through. So right now for a server, we just have a console log test, which is the same as print if you were in Lua. And then in the client side, we just have a basic spawning vehicle uh, command, just to show you guys how it sort of works. Uh, the const delay is basically a wait, so it's just a wait basically. Um, nothing really new you can see all the natives are still the same to be honest and then player pet id you're getting source and everything and the commands a little different we have an async with a uh, arrow function here uh, that just tells you what it is and if you haven't coded in typescript you have to label everything so if we can't just have source and uh, without number you have to define what source is source is a number like args is a string um but yeah so we'll run npm run build which is how you build it. So you'll see once it runs the build, it will build you a build folder with client, and then it will write all of it in here, as well as the server. Now, if you're on the dev side of things and you wanna, you wanna make changes constantly, what you're gonna do is npm run watch. And this will bring up this right here, and then it says watch, build, finish, waiting for changes. So anytime you make a change here, so for example, if we remove this and then we save, build finished again, and it automatically saves that. Uh, and then it just makes it easier for you to just restart this, and you don't really have to rebuild it over and over again. You could just restart it. So if we go back and we type uh, in here, test and save, it will change in here as well. Uh, and then to get out of this, you can control C, and then it will say terminate batch job, you put yes. But that's how you want, that's how you code in TypeScript for 5M. Um, a couple changes as well on the Discord. Let me open up the Discord and show you guys a few more things. We have a uh, set change. Most of main power will be uh, now coded in TypeScript as well, just because it's a little, I feel like it's a little easier for some to understand. So we'll go right into this server. And you'll see when you collect support, uh, this channel is basically archived now. Uh, so I'm going to change the name of that we have a couple different types of support. So we have UI support, so HTML, React, CSS, all that stuff. And then we have base support, which is our TypeScript, Java, uh, JavaScript, Lua, C++, C Sharp. Uh, and we're more than happy to answer any questions y'all have. So make sure you hop in there. Link is also in the description.